guys today are going to draw a blender. Yeah, last week we drew a fruit smoothie, so we thought it would be fun to draw a blender. Mm -hmm. This is how you make the fruit smoothie. With the same ingredients. Yeah. <laughs> We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need something to draw with, some paper, and... Something to color with! Alright, let's start. Jail. Let's first draw the motor, or the bottom part of our blender. We're going to draw a line that goes across our paper for the top part. i got to draw it a little wider, maybe, too. A little further on each side. There we go. Now let's draw the side of the motor. We'll draw two lines that come down, and towards the bottom, they're getting further away from each other. Yeah, and then we can connect the bottom with another line. Oh, let's add little feet on the bottom. I'm going to draw a small rectangle shape on the left and a small rectangle shape that matches on the right. So it doesn't slip away while you're yeah. blending. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you don't want it to fall off the table. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, now we can draw the dial. Let's draw a circle right here. This is for the speed. And we can also draw, let's draw two diagonal lines on the middle. Let's also draw the power switch over here on the left. We could draw another rectang rectangle shape. I'm going to draw the letter L and an upside down L to finish the rectangle shape. Let's do we could do three buttons over here on this side. A small rec uh, L shape. And I draw a long bottom. And we can draw the same upside down L above it. Let's just do two switches over here. Two switches. Yeah, same size. Repeat the same steps. That looks awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's draw the top or the big mug part. And you put the fruit in. Fruit in the and the ice. Yeah, the ingredients. Okay, first let's draw a rectangle shape up here. So I'm going to draw two short lines that come in the same distance and up the same height. Now we're going to connect those at the top. And then let's draw the big glass part or the clear plastic part. I'm going to draw a diagonal line going up to the left and also going up to the right. Then we can draw the top of our whatever this thing's called. <laughs> I don't know, a big pitcher. A big cup. Yeah, a big <laughs> cup. <laughs> and then we can also draw the handle. Let's draw a curve, or a line that comes out. I'm going to curve down, and then back in. Let's make that look thicker. We can draw a smaller shape inside that matches. So you can actually put your hand in yeah. it. Yeah. All right, let's add the fruit smoothie inside. Let's just add a little bit down at the bottom. So I'm going to draw a wiggly line. Oh, let's also add thickness to this big uh, pitcher up here at the top. So let's draw another diagonal line that comes down past. And I'm going to leave a little space down at the bottom. We'll do the same thing on the right side. If we ever go too fast, what can our, our friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, you could always pause the video. <laughs> And then down here, let's connect these two lines like that. Now, what do we have left to add to our blender? The funny face. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's add a funny face. You could draw the funny face with the eyes closed, maybe because he's really concentrating. On uh, blending. Yeah, on blending. Yeah. Shake. Yeah, maybe it's very difficult for him. Mm -hmm. or, or you could add whatever funny face you want. Yeah. This part we're going to fast forward so you can pause the video and take time to add a funny face to your blender. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I like your funny face. And uh, I'm not sure what mine's doing. I think he's yelling. His blenders are really loud. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's doing. All right, we still have one more step to do. What should we do next, Color Hadley? Color our blenders. Yes. This part we're going to fast forward again, but at the end you can pause the video if you want to match the same color. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Hadley, give me five. You did such a great job on coloring your blender. Did you have fun adding the fruit? Yes. <laughs> now you guys can pause the video right now to match the same coloring, but you could also 
change your drawing, and add whatever ingredients you want to your fruit smoothie. Like watermelon, bananas, and apples. Oh, yeah. those are some of my favorites. <laughs> I also added spinach leaves, but I know you don't like that. <laughs> we used markers to color our drawings, but you can use whatever you have. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your blender. Yeah, I didn't think drawing blenders would be that much fun. Yeah, it was actually really fun. It was. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Good Goodbye! Luck.